Today, we're reviewing the SafePal S1 hardware wallet. Let's check it out. SafePal has been around since 2018, never been hacked, and has a close affiliation with Binance, something we'll get into later. Taking a look inside the box, we get the following. The SafePal S1 wallet, a USB-C charging cable, a cleaning cloth, a couple of SafePal stickers, three seed phrase backup cards, and instructions to download the app. Let's take a closer look at the device itself. It's got a compact credit card size design, making it ideal to hide away or slip in a pocket. The SafePal S1 is made of ABS plastic and PVC, giving it shock and heat resistance. This means the device is extremely lightweight, weighing 38 grams. The 1.9 inch IPS color screen houses 320 by 320 resolution, which is small, but functional. Also on the front has a D-pad for navigation, a nice throwback to classic handheld gaming devices. On the back is a built-in camera for high-speed QR scanning. Before getting worried asking, why is there a camera? Is it safe? This is the whole purpose of the device. From this camera, we can scan QR codes to verify transactions. The wallet is 100% air gapped, AKA offline, meaning it has no Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or NFC. And it's much harder to hack remotely. Battery wise, it's got a 400 mAh battery, which lasts up to 20 days with 10 minutes of daily use. Setup is straightforward. Turn on the device and choose a language. Verify the device with a six digit code displayed, and then scan the QR with the S1. SafePal takes time to walk users through these steps, which is great for beginners. Click create a wallet. It's a nice change that we get the options to choose the word count here. I'd always recommend 24 word recovery. The seed phrase is now generated. Grab one of the backup cards and write down all 24 words shown. Start from left to right. Remember to never share these. Be away from cameras or any device that could steal your info. And always keep them offline. To be safe, don't even put the S1 camera near the seed, as we can never be 100% certain. Once written down, confirm all 24 words on the device. Next. Set the pin. One security feature I really liked was that if the pin is too obvious, it makes users create a new one. Nice. Lastly, name the wallet, confirm it, and we're good to get started. Download the SafePal app. On the S1, we can scan, manage assets, check sign history, and go to the settings. A few different blockchains are preloaded at the start. Add a passphrase, change sleep and auto off, along with other settings. The last thing to discuss is uploading the firmware. This was quite difficult and very hands-on, which we first had to go into S1 settings and find about. Then type the SN number on safepal.com slash download. Download the link, then plug in the S1 and go to upgrade. The device will then show on your PC which you then need to drag the file into the wallet drive G. Once it's downloaded, it's good to go, getting the best and latest firmware. On the app, choose connect hardware wallet, create a six digit pin, then select the S1. Pair it now using the built-in camera scanner. To add more blockchains, find the desired token and scan again using QR codes. There's also a cool security quiz in app, Never hurts to educate users on crypto safe practices. View your balances, check exchange rates, and manage crypto assets here. Send, receive, swap, bridge, and buy sell crypto assets. Earn yield through staking, AKA locking your tokens. Sending your crypto is super simple too. Just scan the QR code, enter the amount, select the network fee, then confirm on both devices. This companion app is the first I've seen to include news stories, a cool extra feature. It also supports DeFi applications and third-party apps similar to other wallets. Another important note is that there's unlimited storage for cryptocurrencies, unlike other hardware wallets that have limited storage. Something we should mention is that SafePal is the only hardware wallet I know of with their own token, launched in 2021 on Binance chain through Binance Launchpad. Here's a few things SFP can do. Airdrop from quests, boost APY in SafePal Earn, receive SafePal NFTs, gas station dApp to swap for network fees, and discounts on SafePal products and services. If SFP sounds interesting, go check it out, but not financial advice. Lastly, there is a browser extension. Download the app and use the QR code to connect the mobile app to the extension. It's similar to Phantom or MetaMask. SafePal supports 100 plus blockchains with over 30,000 tokens. As for NFTs, there's Ethereum, 
Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Arbitrum, Ordinals, Ton, Solana, Sui, and more are currently available. Here's how the S1 works. Instead of wallets such as Trezor that use microcontrollers, SafePal runs a different dual chip setup. The system on a chip or SOC runs Linux to handle the camera input, QR code scanning, UI, and general system functions. The second chip is the CCEAL5 Plus secure element, which stores private keys, signs transactions, and ensures cryptographic security safely away from the SOC. One standout security feature is the anti-tampering self-destruct mechanism, which means if the device detects any unauthorized attempt to open or hack it, it activates a self-destruct mechanism, wiping all sensitive data, including your private keys. To be fully transparent, be aware there was a third party report in 2021 from Kraken Security Labs. They identified potential vulnerabilities in the SafePal S1 hardware wallet, highlighting several concerns. If you wanna read more on the outcomes in Kraken's article and SafePal's response, I've linked them in the description below. Based on an article from September, 2023, the SafePal mobile wallet, including the QR scanning mechanisms, were made open source. As for the hardware of the S1, that I'm not too sure. On Trustpilot, SafePal holds a 4.1 out of 5 rating, with 61% 5 star reviews and 33% 1 star reviews. See it compared to Ledger and Trezor. My theory is that if someone takes the time to post on Trustpilot, it holds more weight than a Twitter comment, but then again, it could just be a bot. Positive reviews praise its affordability, ease of use, and responsive support team. Many users report fast issue resolution within 48 hours. In my opinion, one of the best hardware wallet in the market. I'm very happy with it. Great support team. They solve any problem fast and efficiently. I recommend it. Yeah, very fast in resolving issues when it comes to customer support. Thank you, Jack. Red hot emoji. They're very fast at answering. Very kind, and the app has been part of me from almost the beginning. Thanks, Dennis, for all. Negative reviews mostly focused on withdrawal delays, firmware updates using USB on PC, swaps, and unwarranted transactions. I swapped my Bitcoin to USDT today for 89500 but SafePal exchanged in 85889 plus all regular costs and reduced my 4000 USDT to 3896 This is ripe off. I have yet to be able to do my account a withdraw. My 3k mount is the 16k rewards I got and I haven't got a withdraw total loss. I have my savings in the wallet and you get it to tell you. I didn't do any transaction at night so who did the transaction from my account? I don't know. I create last two days new account and recharge $100 and now my account balance is zero. Let's compare the safe one with the most popular hardware wallets. First, compared to the Ledger S Plus, biggest difference is that the S Plus has no battery and must be plugged in, as well as the size. Here next to the Ledger X, the X is a similar experience, except it can use Bluetooth since it has a battery. The Flex has a larger screen and additional features such as NFC, lock screen, and a more solid structure. And the Stacks is quite similar, in that everything is the same as the Flex other than the curved screen. The Trezor Safe 3 is a better comparison, at a similar cost with similar features. But the Safe 3 has no battery and must be connected to a device to use. The Tandem cards are also competitors. So should you buy an S1, it's a decent option for either a first hardware wallet or an additional hardware wallet to diversify some assets. Similar feel to Tandem, but with slightly less seamless interaction. If you want to grab one, check my link below for a discount. Make sure to subscribe for more crypto content and a huge thanks to SafePal for sending one over. Meow, I'll catch you in the next one.